This is the 2018 Toyota Highlander Limited. If you're looking for a pre-owned option from Haley Toyota's deep lineup of certified used vehicles, then this awesome SUV could be the perfect vehicle for you. The Highlander Limited is equipped with a navigation system, backup camera, and heated front row and back row seats, as well as great safety features like distance pacing cruise control and lane departure alert. With a folding third seat row and roof rack capability, this Highlander is a great blend of versatility with luxury. The best part is that you're also covered by Toyota's certified used car warranties. Today, we're taking Dylan Hill for a drive. The 6'3 defenseman is in his first season with the Dogs, and the Niagara Falls native has notched four assists in 17 games this season with Roanoke. Dylan, how's it going, man? Good, how are you? Doing well, good to see you. Nice to see you too, Matt. I'm Mitch Stewart, and this is Driving with the Dogs. Thanks for joining me. Let's say we get you all buckled in, ready to rock here. Oh, we'll yeah. wave off to our, our wonderful cameraman slash account executive, Andrew, who's helping us out today. <laughs> say, uh, should we uh, take a little spin downtown? Yeah, let's go for it. In your first full professional season, I wanted to talk a little bit about kind of the start to your pro career. You ended up joining Watertown kind of at the end of the 2019-20 season, right before the pandemic, and then you weren't really able to play last year, and now you come back this year. What has that kind of been like as you've tried to start your pro career and you just kind of have had to deal with the pandemic and all these different things changing constantly? Well, last year uh, I didn't play because of COV and stuff like that, so I stayed home and stayed in shape and stuff like that. It was weird not playing after playing for so many years consecutively, um, but it was nice to come back this year. Got Everyone had training camp, so I got here a little later. Um, but it was nice. A uh, great group of guys fit in well and make me feel like home. So it was an easy transition. Well, now you're back here in Roanoke. You joined the team kind of just before Thanksgiving and have played really well this season. You were in the call up to Fort Wayne in the ECHL, got a bit of time in the coast, and then we were able to get you back in mid-February. What's that like when you're kind of bouncing from one team to another and then coming back what's that experience like as a hockey player um well when you go to a new team you got to meet everyone again so it's just you got to meet the, all the guys got to remember names stuff like that but uh coming back again like it's just been this organization's great um they treat you like the east coast so there's no it wasn't too big of a transition so it was nice you're from Ontario originally you're from Niagara Falls correct Niagara Falls yes. area so what was that experience like kind of growing up in Ontario and getting your start into hockey um well from Canada like you're uh, right when you're born you got a stick in your hand <laughs> and then uh, I started skating when I was three um, my parents have been a huge help and support throughout the whole time from young all the way to junior they always always there for me if I ever need anything they'll be there and to help. So far this season for the Dogs, you've had a really solid year. And since you've come back from Fort Wayne, like one thing I've noticed, it seems like you're kind of asserting yourself offensively a little bit more. You had a three game assist streak there <laughs> for about a week or so. What has maybe changed or has your confidence kind of changed after playing in the coast and now you're coming back and, and maybe asserting yourself a little bit more offensively? Yeah, um, I was just getting back into things. I took a year off. So coming back, like, I got in better shape when I was there, like, because I got scratched a couple of games, so they kept me working harder, <laughs> so it was just getting in shape and just uh, knowing my abilities again and just being able to play, like, and Bremner's let me do mostly what I want to do and not getting yelled at, so it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Dan can be an intense coach, but it feels like everyone kind of says the same things that, you know, he's he's really prepared it gets everyone to buy in how's it been like playing for coach Bremner here this season it's good um right now we're slumping a bit but Bremner always has like a game plan and he's always he's watching more film than any coach in this league for sure um and he's a good coach like he knows what he's talking about good systems and it's just that uh right now we're just going through tough spurts so it's gonna, we're gonna f figure it out. When you have that, that big hot run like the dogs had, and then maybe things kind of cool off, what is the message that, you know, is coming from Dan, coming from the leadership as you guys kind of try to turn things back around in the right direction? Um, right now we're just 
trying to focus on playing our game, like just playing the way we know how to play, like what made us successful on that long winning streak. And we'll get back to it. Uh, we have been. We just got to be more consistent. Just show up every night, be physical, because that's the way we like to play, and we find success when we do that. What What are your plans, or maybe what ideas do you have, kind of, for your post playing days? My post playing days. Um, I finished like community college here for like police foundations. So I either want to be a police officer or start getting volunteer firefighting and then look to be a firefighter in the future. So That's pretty cool. I'd say uh, if, you, if you end up sticking around here, we'll get you in uh, guns and hoses, right? <laughs> yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so now that you've played, I think, 14 games now for the dogs, at least at the time of this video, mm -hmm. I wanted to hear maybe what your favorite moment was or maybe your favorite win that you've had so far with the rail yard dogs. Um, we're gonna have to go back now a couple of months ago back to when we came back from Fayetteville oh, and yeah. we won in overtime that game <laughs> that was a great game the fans were uh, really loud that game and it was awesome having gone up to the coast this year and you know coming away from your year off has there been kind of one area of your game or, or one thing that you've noticed uh, that you've been working on that has maybe taken a big leap since the start of the season um I say my shot. I still don't have a goal yet, but my shot, uh, my one timer has gotten much better. Um, I've been working on that a lot. Um, yeah, I just can't find the back of the net yet, so it's coming. <laughs> it, it's been tough. It's worth noting. I, I'll I'll help you out with this one. I think two of your three assists during that assist streak were they were tip shots. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you're putting them on net, and you know you're obviously finding your guys in front whether they're gonna tip them home for you or help you out with a little bit of a screen to get it by yeah yeah I, th I think that first goal is on the way for you for sure man well i hope it comes soon <laughs> <laughs> i always like to help out the boys chip in offensively so it'd be nice one thing we have not seen from you this year is you know we've we've seen you bring some physicality we haven't quite seen you drop the gloves yet you <laughs> kind of is that something you foresee between now and the end of the year like if the opportunity presents itself that yeah, you might you might drop the gloves and have a go with somebody. Yeah, I think it, the time's <laughs> coming soon. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I can keep playing like this and not have to answer to someone soon. So <laughs> we'll see. Who has the best hair on the team? Ooh, best hair. I know. Put you on the spot right now. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. We've got some good lettuce on the team. There's some good flows. So I gotta give it to. Gotta, gotta mm. pick your spot here very well. Yeah. <laughs> I like Armstrong's. His is pretty straight in the back. He's got some nice lettuce. Uh, yeah. He always he always has to take the photos for uh, the games, so um, he's always got to have that nice flow, looking good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think Greg Roberts calls him Hockey Jesus. I think <laughs> Hockey I Jesus. think that's what he goes for uh, when when Travis is over on their show. Uh, well, I'll I'll kind of leave it open ended to you here for for the last bit. Is there kind of anything that you wanted to touch on that maybe I didn't ask or maybe just a message for the fans um, as we kind of head down the home stretch this season? Um, I just got to say, like, this is a great leadership group here um, from Captain Armstrong to Jones to Sherwood to Janney. Um, and they just lead by example, and they're just great guys. And I know we're going to figure this out, and we're going to have a nice run. I feel a, a big run coming for us. So. Yeah. Yeah, I feel it too. I'm uh, I'm looking forward to it. Appreciate it, man. Nice. Nice talking to you. All right. See you, buddy. Take it easy. Driving with the Dogs is sponsored by Haley Toyota, the official ride of your rail yard dogs. Visit Haley Toyota online at HaleyHasItForLess.com and stay tuned for more episodes coming soon.